This was a worldwide phenomenon. If you're Derek Chauvin, what are you thinking right now? I'm hoping that people finally realize that we have a race problem. In America. I think we'll see a huge shift. I, I don't think this will just go away. You need to be able to dehumanize a person in a particular way for, for that to feel like it's okay to do. Why didn't any of the other cops that were standing around say anything? Well, he had his knee on George's neck. Handcuff him right there and go, this is too far. You're going to jail tonight. That's when you see the change. Then the thin blue line will get much thinner. The murder of George Floyd set off a firestorm of protests, riots, and social action in a pandemic environment where people were already afraid, angry, and uncertain. Derek Chauvin, the police officer responsible for George Floyd's death, was tried and found guilty on three counts. Because this case was historic on so many levels, we pulled together a panel of three phenomenal people to provide their reactions to the verdict. Walter Powell, a decorated 20-year police officer, Mimi Girgis, the founder and president of Papyrus Media Group and former host and executive producer of The Mimi Girgis Show, which aired on Sirius XM Radio and PBS for over 16 years, and Dr. Maricela Martinez Cola, an attorney who became a professor in the areas of race, racism, and social movements. She is the author of The Bricks Before Brown, which discusses the legal cases leading up to Brown versus Board of Education in 1954. Don't miss this incredible discussion where we get into police, legal, media, social, and historical perspectives on this landmark case. Welcome to the LifeWorks Podcast.